Hi guys, welcome back to another mod review for FS19 and today we are going to be reviewing the GEA belt feeder from DS Aggress Service and Castor. The file size is 13.04 megabyte. It's version 1.000 and the mod or the script that you need is the global company 1.7.1.0 to make this work. So let's get into the game here and try it out. So we are in game now and let's have a look at the belt feeder here. We have the GEA belt feeder for hay. And we have the GEA belt feeder for the total mixed ration for $85,000. That is what we need. And the belt feeder for hay, $95,000 in the shop is what we also need. We're not going to be testing out Maze Plus because we don't have Maze Plus here on our map. We're going to be placing this belt feeder this one here and now we are going to go into animals here animals up here because we need the GEA coastal so this one costs $40 per day this one also costs $40 per day and this one as well so what you need to do is you have to activate um, the GAA mix feeder for that to be able to get the coastal as well. So let's talk about this one. This is the GEA belt feeder for hay. So it costs $95,000. The bunker capacity here is 200,000 liters. Cost per day, $40 per day. The measurements of that belt feeder is 7 meters by 4 meters. It can take silage, hay, uh, clay hay or lucerne hay. And it can also take hay pallets. The TMR here. $85,000 in the shop, also bunker capacity is 200 liters, $40 per day, 13 meters by 21 meters, and that can only take the TMR, which is total mixed ration. Now the author of this mod is DS Agrar Service Castor. I think I have mentioned that at the start of the video and this mod came out on the, on the 9th of September 2020. So first of all we are gonna see which fields we own so we can place it. Field 7 and 8. So we are gonna go into the shop here but first we're gonna have to place the stall. So we have placed our stall here. We know that from the from the mix feeder. But we want to be we are gonna be placing the belt feeder here, so we might have to open the gates here. Like that. Over here you take out I think as far as I know the milk. And I think the water was over here. No, um, over there the the slurry and here the milk. What we need to do is configure, configure this. So, so we're gonna configure it, and I'll be back. So I have this part configured here. The water is gonna be going in here, and we are gonna have to turn this lever here 
But first of all, we need to buy some animals. I'm going to buy uh, 20 animals, 20 cows. So for that, you come over here, press the R key. We're going to buy 25 or no, we're going to buy 10. All right, they are in there. I do this video in two steps, so this is going to be 15 minutes. And part two is going to be 15 minutes as well. So we're going to open up the water here for a minimum of 10 cows. And here you can, you can see that the water is coming out of that pipe there. And those cows are getting water. Now, we are going to have to place the belt feeder. That is going to be the tricky part. Team or hay. That is the trickiest part I know. So, let's turn it around. I think that's the way you have to do it. So... We need to go inside here. Let me turn that around. I hope this is correct here. All right. And here we have the team or belt feeder for hey, anyway, let's have a look inside and see how we did. Because, like we said, it's very, very tricky. Ah, we failed. And we're going to have to do that again. So hopefully I have it right this time. Like I said, this is very difficult to do. So let's put it down here then. Move away from it. And I think this time we are correct. Yes, we are correct. And here you, you can see the belt here. That is where our hay on this side here is going to be traveling along up the belt here. So we are looking at this guy here. The hay goes in here. We'll travel up the pipe here along the conveyor belt into the into the coastal here. Up along here. Through here. It's going to fall through here. And it's going to fall onto the belt here and here we have that little pusher it's gonna push the hay 
here along the conveyor belt here and it's going to push it back again so that went pretty good let's see if those guys are okay I hope they are fine they're not exactly touching the the beams there I hope it's okay for this review yeah should be okay I guess and what we now have to do is we have to place the um, the TMR feeder that will go here so here over here and the cows will get the TMR here so what we have to do is in here the TMR for 85,000 double click on that Uh, turn it around like so I think now we're gonna have to go like that <laughs> it's very fidgety Yeah, we're going to have to try going inside more. I don't like it. I'm going to try this from the other side here. So I think we're almost good to go here. I'm gonna place it out like this and we are good to go. Now this is the TMR mixer. Now you're gonna have to make the TMR separately because this belt feeder here doesn't make the TMR like the mix feeder does. So let's have a look at that belt feeder. This is the TMR mix feeder, like I said. Here is a conveyor belt. That TMR is going to be transported from the conveyor belt in here and it will travel along here to feed the cows their total mixed ration all along here because underneath the belt here we have a trigger underneath here we have a trigger which will trigger the food into falling onto the ground for them to eat so the team R is going to travel along here that is going to push the team R along the conveyor belt here and it will be falling onto the ground I think All right, and here that is for for the compost that they are going to be making as well. Now ten cows. Now we are gonna jump up here. We're gonna press the R key. Now you want to set this to four thousand liters and five percent. You always want this. Here are silage 100% here. Now, 22, we're not going to be doing 200,000 liters here. So, let's see the time here. We have 
8 o'clock, so our first one is going to be 8 o'clock, it's going to be probably 11 o'clock. Our next feeding time will be 1500. Let's make that 1400 hours. Our next one is going to be that's going to be our third one. 1600. Let's make that 1700. And our fourth feeding time will be 1900. Brilliant. So I'm going to call this video part 1. Quits. And we'll be doing a part 2. So bye bye. See you in part two.